Hello there and welcome back to yet a, another episode. So in today's one we've got quite a few construction projects and uh, yeah so I've done a bit of pre-planning. I guess we'll start from here. So the biggest one is probably trying to figure out how do we get rid of all the water. I have marked down some trees for removal already and yeah essentially what we are going to do we are going to build two access roads with platforms. One coming from the mainland and the other one from the stilts that are in the middle of the of the lake. And essentially what we are doing, we're just building the first layer right now, or the first three layers, to sort of corner in all of the water sources. So they are nicely tucked away in the middle. And the idea is that once the bad water tide sort of hits us, then uh, we're going to have some, I guess let's just grab them real quick, some floodgates. I'm not really sure if we want to have them here or maybe further down somewhere here once we clean up this area. And then when the bad water hits, then we just unlock them and let all the water flow out of the colony. Now, I think that's as simple or as difficult the system needs to be. Well, at least the first draft of it, because let's say if the, um, the water season starts, then we can just close them and kind of let this area overflow a little bit if that makes sense, but I guess we'll see as well. Okay, we finally have some beavers that are contaminated. Another one is unwell. Not really sure where they're going in this water. I don't think there's any roads that lead down here, but then again, you never know those beavers. Okay, anyways, that was the first sort of massive construction pro project. Uh, secondly, what else do we have? Oh yeah, I've been doing a bit of planning. Let's just go down here. Oh, I see. Why did you... Right, so you're a smart beaver, aren't you? Let's put a road over here. Yeah, that's where they're getting sick. Uh, okay. Oh, well. I mean, let's just pause this so you can climb out from there. And, uh, okay. I guess we are going to have some mm, three unwell beavers. But that's okay. We've got tons of beavers in, in the colony anyway. So all we have to do is just unlock a, another little bath dump for them. And there we go. Okay, so next one. This little town over here is going to get a bit of a production zone as well. And the way we want to do it, I right now we have the road sort of like going around this area. But uh, I want to change this up. I want the next road to go straight through the middle. So then that way the access is the same everywhere. Hold on a second. You guys need to unfortunately be removed as well. Okay, so power we are producing, well, 593. Not entirely sure if it's going to be enough, but... Uh, I guess we'll live and see. If it isn't going to be enough, we can always just uh, dynamite our way uh, through here and create a couple couple more of, more of those large water mills. Uh, water wheels, there we go. Yeah, we're already producing mushrooms and algae over here. We'll do a couple of trees as well. And uh, right now we are fermenting cassavas. But what else were we producing here? Soybeans, cassavas and kohlrabis. Okay. So the rest is, I mean, I guess we can can do another one right about here. And soybeans. So there we go. And this one, you're going to need a recipe as well. Corn rations and eggplant because we don't really have algae just yet. Or do we? No, only 13%. It takes 288 hours. But it will give us 70 algae. So yeah, I guess we are going to have to wait for it. Fortunately, they don't take any power. So that's that's good. Yeah, they only just take water, so I guess we are going to have to try and build up our stockpile a little bit. Okay, now, right now, we are supplying 1,186 and consuming 170, so um, I think we should be pretty good over here. Okay, this one we've set up as well. We'll give them a bit more access, and then things shall be shall be good. Uh, right, as soon as the bad tide is ending, we are going to lose a lot of beavers, but that's probably... Okay, I'm just thinking maybe we can open or reopen a few of those pods. Yeah, I mean, I suppose we could change them over with the advanced breeding pods as well. It might be a bit more useful, isn't it? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. okay, let's do this. Let's um, take these ones out and we shall place a, another four that are going to supply our colony with adult beavers when they are ready. Okay, cool. Other things we have in here we could do. Now this might actually be pretty, pretty useful because there's going to be a lot of beavers that want to go swimming, I assume. 
Let's see if we can do one and two more stations over here. All right, there we go. Bad Tide has ended and the colony should be... Oh yeah, we got 13. Oh dear, all of this bad water is now going through here. Uh, I mean, it is going to get mixed up with the normal water, so it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, it's just a little bit left and most of it seems to be going sideways off the map anyway, so yeah, I mean, even if they get a little contaminated, uh, I guess we'll be okay. And then it seems we have a, another few beavers that are unwell, so we'll probably have to open up a couple more stations for you guys. Okay, we um, have almost enough power, so but I think we'll be fine. Now, things seem to be in the production line already. You can see a couple more platforms being made on both sides. And uh, yeah, the, um, the sort of food station town or this, this part of the city is already complete. They've done everything. Should probably give you a slightly higher priority just to make sure that things get done where we need them done first. And the rest of it is probably uh, a-okay for the, for the time being. Now, a couple of other things we do want to start doing is, of course, coffee over here. Let's open up a few foresters. Okay, so you are complaining there's nothing in the range, but that is okay. I think we can just sort of fill this whole area with um, coffee. I know it's going to be very excessive, but why not? Let's just see what it looks like. Let's see how many we can we can do. Harvesting stations can be up on the cliffs over here, and everything below is going to be... Oh dear, we've made a bit of a mistake. Okay, let me just go around and uh, swap it around real quick. All right, so there we go. Everything's going to be surrounded with coffee. I think these guys can now... Where are you? Okay, so you are at the... Or on the opposite side of the map, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> let's have a look. Our next mission here. I am starting to make our way towards this water sources here as well. We've uh, sort of penciled in a bit of a blueprint already. However, I don't think we'd have quite the access just yet. So yeah, a few trees are going to have to go. And then um, I, I guess over here we can climb up onto the, the water source. I uh, will give you the stairs as well. And then we're, we're just going to start trying to... Actually, hold on a second. How about we don't start trying anything and just complete this section first. And then we can uh, go, from, go from here. All right, I don't suppose this will get done anytime soon so we can just leave you for the time being and uh okay here we are starting or restarting our mission to replant those trees however let's see those roads are a little wonky but that is okay that's actually perfect um <laughs> if we had more beavers then we could probably have some more workers here as well then again i don't think we need a massive amount of beavers it's just that we have all those bare ones that were put into the builder's huts yeah i think we'll be fine so all we gotta do now is let the game run just for a little bit and we'll be back as soon as we have filled all those fields with the coffee. right so there is also another thing that i almost forgot we do want to start building up this zone over here and uh, yeah for our district or the newest district I believe this is going to be like the central area as we do remember this is going to be where we place the district crossing zone that is going to lead into the farming section but the beavers uh, sort of living zone I mean we still do have an option here to have some more housing by the by the waterfront but if we don't want to do that or if this district grows very big we could, could also have some houses on the on the mountain itself and for that I'd like to green it up just a little bit and also create this like a zone around here for their entertainment purposes. So for that let's just unlock a, another one since we do have quite a bit of science already. Okay so you can go here and then all we gotta do let's just see how much do it cost 349 well we do seem to have enough so that is okay. And we can place a few walls just around the area like so. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the main road. Hmm. We might have to climb up first a little bit. But I'd like to carve like a bit more interesting entrance through the mountains as well. Yeah, that's where we are going to go up. And I don't know, maybe we'll just take this town like so. That can be the same. And then step from both 
aside. Okay. And to make this a little bit easier, we'll just climb up from the from the side real quick, remove all those trees that are in the way, and then we can uh, figure out the rest. Okay. Over here, I don't know if you want to make it too boxy, but I am just going to fill this area in for the for the time being. So let's grab a couple of you guys as well. And then here we go. Now, I was thinking that we might want to use the single uh, single levees, but I don't think we're going to build anything at the lower levels. If we want to use the side platforms, then it's going to be at the higher levels. So for now, things should be okay. And if we fill this whole area with water, it's also going to act as our entertainment zone. So what I mean by that is if we go into well-being, we can place a few swimming pools in here. And I mean, actually, we can do quite a few. But I don't know how many we want to do by the entrance. We might want to do the swimming pools a little bit out of the way. It just really depends on how busy do we want to make this area. And I mean, I, I th think we don't want to leave it to just like one main road here and then they won't even walk through the rest of the areas. I kind of want to create different um, one-way roads or dead-end roads so beavers have to c commute around a little bit. Okay, some buildings are flooded. Oh yeah, I think we're still uh, struggling with the, uh, with the water flow over here and how much we are letting through. But that's okay, it's only for like a few seconds and I mean, I hope so at least. Just speed up the time real quick, and yeah, I guess it's just part of the nature, right? We've got some tides coming in, and we should just plan this area a little bit better, put them on the stilts, so we're not going to have issues like this. I think it's time to check out this area as well. It seems to be going pretty slow, so I am going to help these poor beavers out. We're going to create another ladder system just on the side over here. Okay, delete all this, and what I am going to say is that everything over here should be the highest of priorities. These platforms and some of the levees as well are going to be vital to getting it all done in time. And then uh, obviously the ladders as well. So let's give you a few roads. All right, there we go. And then make sure that they can, a bit of a lag spike here, here we go, go around all the way and help this down. Okay, so we've got a few levees already in place. That's uh, that's pretty lovely, but I think this would be a little bit shorter route. So because we are building up this area over here, I don't think now is a good time to place down the sort of district crossing station over here. I know excuses all the time. However, it it just feels it's, it's going to be a little bit quicker having this area done with our specific city building plans and uh okay so you guys are fairly quick i mean we used to oh yeah we used to have more planks not to worry we can fix this up real quick we got tons of logs as well so we can probably do a another one of you okay beavis contaminated five but i believe we have enough stations over here so that should be fine now the next thing we wanted to do let's see oh yeah let's add a few beavis in here, so that means 10 jumps. Oh, two now. Okay, maybe someone grew up. Uh, who knows? Things happen very quickly nowadays, and um, I don't think we have to worry about it too much. So, okay, we are starting to have a bit of access onto this side as well. We do want to create some roads over here, so unfortunately, yep, a few of your trees are gonna have to go okay and then we can extend the uh, the road network very very soon but not to worry by entering this area and cutting down a few trees we can start our reforestation plans on the the rest of the uh, sort of sides on this lake as well and uh, yeah i mean as you can see those beavers are pretty quick to replace the big forest areas uh, we are we should be cutting down some of those trees over here right Oh, okay, so these guys are full as well. Why don't we give you a another location for the logs? And, um, okay. If we have some spare beavers... Oh, it's because we are flooded, so that's why it's fluctuating. I see now. Um, it's this area. Well, if it starts getting annoying, there's two options we can, we can do. Okay, so this one is, yeah, a little bit annoying over here. Okay, let's leave it for the for the time being. I'll deal with this between the episodes. Okay, so our coffee plantation area seems to be going pretty well. 
they have planted almost everything there's just a little bit left over there and i think it is to do with the access that we have given them so we can try and fix this up a little bit and i mean with this amount of coffee here we haven't planted any of it before but i have a feeling this is a massive overkill so yeah i, I guess maybe we can start exporting coffee into some other colonies of the of this beaver mat i don't really know what we're gonna do but i, I guess we'll see if this is a ridiculous amount then uh, we can always change it up with some other options as well now there is a very lovely sort of plateau over here where we could do a lot of mangrove fruit so hopefully it's not gonna hurt us by giving it a try we are gonna place quite a few mangroves over here and yeah as soon as we get the uh hold on a second we're gonna need some roads over here as well as soon as we get the the roads and the the ladders done we should be able to start planting them there as well and in case the forester is a little too far not to worry we can place another one here and um yeah let's just give it a try let's see how it goes let's zoom over into our next construction zone and that is this one over here okay so you guys have done quite a few sections already we are gonna have to change up this over here now oh, they don't have the access just yet which is understandable okay get these levies done and then we can do this one we're gonna need another levy i guess it's not too difficult is it okay levy here this one this one and then you can climb straight up there for decoration purposes we can probably do some some stuff some very cool stuff on the sides as well and what about you okay so let's do another levy on that side and one over here and we can place some decorations on them uh once they can climb up oh dear that's gonna be this one isn't it turn it off or turn it on i mean and um then we should be yeah, able to sort of go around maybe we'll allow them to climb down as well this might be a smart idea yeah especially during the construction phase to ensure that everything is going to be done a little bit quicker okay a few roads now after everything gets completed i am thinking that we can do a few pumping stations maybe just to the side over there and uh, to get the water maybe we're gonna have a slightly bigger tank over here that sort of imports the water let's sit in here i mean if we want to be smart about it we could even try and steal one of those water sources and supply this section automatically this could be actually very interesting as well yeah could use this wall raise it up a little bit go around uh, i don't think we want all of them but one of them could be could be very interesting and it seems they have started putting up these levees here as well oh yeah we've got so many construction projects happening everywhere at the at the same time what is the most important one well food seems to be done over here and although hold on a second so you actually are gonna have a beaver manned at this station 24 well not 24 but what is it 12 7 oh i thought it was more like uh hey they're gonna grow there and once they are done then someone's gonna go cut them down well that's a shame i mean this would be more useful if it was the haulers that bring in the water over here but oh well it is what it is anyways we do have the ladders already done which is fantastic that's going to help the beavers to construct up this whole area over here right so i suppose the only thing we can do right now is give them a little bit of time it is interesting that we don't have a lot of uh, spare beavers right now we're not even lacking them to be honest it's just a few in these buildings but with having so many construction plans and construction sites it would be useful to have a few more beavers isn't it yeah i mean we'll, we'll be fine we just need a few of those advanced breeding pods so yeah i guess we just give them a little bit of time all right so there we go our coffee beans fields seem to be coming alive already and uh yeah i've placed a couple of flags just around this area as well i am trying to clean up uh, or take down a few of those trees to give uh, better access we just have too many construction jobs it appears uh, we've received a few more beavers as well so we're not lacking in work just yet okay so yeah let's give them a slightly a high priorities in in these areas as well 
All they gotta do is just quickly come and cut down those trees and they can carry on with the rest of the projects. Uh, this one should be constructed as well and okay this one we have not done yet so there we go. Deal with those flags and we shall have coffee anytime soon. So what we also do need around here if we have the space which okay yeah seems we we're okay with the space. Uh, you are gonna hold uh, trout is approaching so that might be fine. Okay let's have a look uh, real quick canola algae right so here we go we got the coffee beans over here we are probably going to use it as a supply now with the drought approaching we know that's going to wreck this area so what can we do about it can we do anything about it at all we've got the okay let's just uh, think about it what is the shortest way down here it could be from this building yep this might be a little bit quicker so why don't we try and save our first harvest Okay, all we need is a few stairs. That's quite a quite a few, I mean. Okay, highest priority. Let's get this done as quick as we can, please. And then all we gotta do is just bring those rows through the area. And the first layer should be pretty pretty easy, right? I mean, in the future, if we are gonna build this area up, it's gonna come through this zone somewhere around anyways. So let's do it over here. Um... If we keep this much water in here, I think most of the plants might be able to survive. Maybe. But it's better than nothing. So let's give them a quick road. Oh, I think something happened there. Here we go. Let's try this again. Road's going to go through here. I am wondering if we were to walk down from here, would this be a little bit quicker? Who knows? Uh, we can give it a try. I believe we have enough beavers actually. Hold on a second, let's um, open up all of those other buildings as well. And as soon as we get any spare beavers, they will go and work in these houses as quick as possible. Alright, so all we need now is a few more ladders, just like so. Then they are going to have to climb through the pit over here. Cut down those trees. And the last few. Will this be enough? I guess we shall find out. And now all we need, hold on a second, we also need these ladders over here. Put the roads on top of them. And with the priorities as well, let's um, make sure that these are the highest of priorities. Okay, a couple of days left, we'll speed up the time. I wonder if this would be a slightly better way to approach this. There's not that many stairs that we need to construct. Probably only this one over here, give them a road. Okay, through here. But bringing the trees, it's a very long run for them. But I guess we can give it a try. So let's uh, bring those roads through. How many ladders do we need to do? A couple over here. And uh, okay. Put them in as well. Highest of priorities. Same with the trees. And uh, let's see what happens. We are getting a few a few beans in. We don't have the, the coffee station. The brewery which is over here, 500 science. So, yeah, we can definitely do it. That is not the problem. The problem right now is our... I think our focus is elsewhere, but why not? Let's just do one over here. If anyone has spare time, we're not going to give you a high priority or anything. And uh, if someone has a bit of time, then it would be fantastic if we get our coffee station running as well. Let's have a quick look at the progress over here. Quite a few levies, so that is wonderful indeed. However, yeah, it's going to take a little bit more time. I reckon maybe in the next episode we should be done. And then with the other one, this one looks a lot smaller, so it shouldn't be too challenging for us. Now, this zone is also done, which is amazing. Um, when it comes to priorities, I guess this one here could be completed. Uh, fluid dump will go right about here. And then we'll have a stream gauge as well. Okay, cool. So once these ones are done, we can fill it with water and green it up to have a few trees around this area as well. So next thing we have those dynamites. Oh, wow. Okay, that was pretty impressive. Now, I think we're going to have to put some land back into, into this zone over here. It wasn't exactly how I was planning to dive in here. Um, <laughs> okay, not to worry though. 
That is not a problem. We are going to climb up from here. I don't know how many levels we are going to do. However, decorations. A few of them like so. And that should give us a slightly nicer entrance in the... Or into the... Or onto the mountain. Okay. Let's see how are we doing with the stairs. They've got a few in place already, which is fantastic. And then uh, hopefully they will have the reach for the other ones as well. But it's only 1.6 days left. So yeah, my hopes aren't too high. We've given them three ways to access this area. At least from this side, they've managed to do one of those levees already. Just one ladder left. And once they have access, I believe we should be able to... Oh, 20 jumps. That's quite a few. Yeah, we should be able to get a few more levies done, hopefully very, very soon. All right, so that was our progress for this episode. We've got the mountain area done. We've got a bit of water in here now as well. All we got to wait is just to have a few more pockets thrown into this endless pit. Oh no, we've lost the last of it. But anyways, we're going to get this filled with water, get it cleaned up. Now our mangrove zone, well, was going pretty strong, but we'll see how long this drought is going to be. And then we've got some coffee as well. The station is almost done. Well, almost. And then the last one that is going to be the biggest construction is going to be this uh, livy little reservoir in the middle of the lake. But yeah, it's going to take a bit of time. We've got six days of drought, so um, we'll see how it goes in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon.